Hi, my name is Reed Redden and I'm a sheep and goat specialist for Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. Back here again with a Facebook Live video. Um, I know the last couple of weeks we've been talking about parasites. Uh, we're going to continue that theme this week as well. And what I want to make you aware of is a product that maybe you've not heard of before. It's copper oxide wire particle boluses. These boluses are sold as a copper supplement to goats. Um, however, there's quite a bit of research that indicates that these boluses are very effective at controlling internal parasites. So the boluses are, are sold as two and four gram boluses. We only recommend that you use the two gram bolus. Most of the research indicates that two grams is enough to get 95% uh, control of abomasal worms. And uh, it's in the abomasum because that's how it works or that's how we think that this works is this copper getting into the abomasum and killing those worms. It's not clearly understood, but what is clearly known is that these boluses are effective or are an effective tool in our internal parasite control program. So most scientists recommend that we use this product to help protect our drenches. So one of the ways that we can do it is to not use the drench and only use a bolus. We typically recommend to use a bolus in these cases for animals that have a low to moderate infection. So you're either doing a fecal egg count, uh, fecal egg count test or you're doing FOMACHA scores <laughs> on animals. And those animals that are okay, but they, they're uh, young animals that we need to treat or they're lactating and we know that they may be susceptible, we would use a bolus um, by itself in those cases. But if we have animals that are heavily parasitized, we would use this bolus in combination with drenches so that we get back to that 99% effective control rate. So there's a farm that we've been working with recently and they've had some issues with uh, internal parasites and resistance has started to develop uh, for a number of the major classes of dewormers when given individually and so we make the recommendation to give a combination of two active ingredients plus a copper oxide wire particle bolus. Uh, this farm was a little bit hesitant, uh, wanted to test it out to see how effective it was, and so we did that. It was a group of ewe lambs uh, this fall. Uh, we took a sample from these ewe lambs on October 21st, and uh, these ewe lambs averaged 5,000 eggs per gram. We separated them into two groups, and all of the ewe lambs got a combination treatment of prohibit and valbazin. They were drenched separately, uh, but a full dose of each of those, and then half of those also got a copper oxide wire particle bolus. And so what you'll see is um, on October 21st, they had 5,000 eggs per gram. They were all treated. And then on Halloween, October 31st, those that got the combination drench had 500 eggs per gram, which indicates a 90% effective kill from the combination drench. But when we added a copper bolus in with the combination drench um, on, on Halloween, there was only 50 eggs per gram, the average for that group, which indicates a 99% effective kill rate. And that's what we're trying to get to is 99% because this protects these uh, treatments into the future. Why does it protect them? Because you look at the residual of eggs that are shedding. So a typical adult animal is going to produce about a kilogram of feces per day. So if they're shedding five, um, 500 eggs per gram, they produce a kilogram of feces, that's a half a million eggs that are shed every, every day by this group. Whereas the group that got a 99% effective kill, it was only 50,000 eggs per gram. When we dilute those out there in the pasture, um, these uh, resistance is gonna develop a lot slower with this group when we get to a 99% effective kill rate. So one of the other important things to know about copper oxide boluses is how to give them. Um, they're a plastic capsule with little bits and pieces of copper wire that's cut up into small pieces. And so we need to give those with a bolus. Um, there's a number of different bowling guns that are recommended. You can get some on Amazon, the metal ones that have an insert that's suited for this, or you can get these uh, cheaper ones at most of your farm and ranch store. The bad thing about these is when you turn them upside down, it'll fall out. So you gotta keep it uh, lifted up. Um, and what I find is the best is we need some type of liquid chaser to get them to swallow it. So we're gonna catch the animals and normally that's a drench because I like to give them as combinations. Easy there, girl. Uh, so we'll get the ewe lamb, uh, get her restrained into the corner. All right, we're gonna take the bowling gun and get it into the back of the mouth to get the, the bolus deposited in the back of the mouth. And then we're gonna chase that with a drench or some type of liquid to get them to swallow it.
And there we are. We've got our effective treatment. One last thing to note about uh, these copper boluses is they are copper. And sheep can be more sensitive to copper than, than goats and cattle. And so, to be honest, a lot of people are scared away from the copper bolus because of the toxic effects that we could get with sheep. Uh, but there's been um, decades of research on this that has found that one treatment of a two gram bolus uh, or two treatments given within a parasite season will not uh, cause copper toxicity unless there's high levels of copper coming from the diet or a mineral or some other source. So with that, I highly encourage you to go to wormx.info to educate yourself about copper oxide wire particle boluses. There's a new fact sheet that was written in 2018 with the latest research and information in it. Again, we'll post that online, uh, but it's at wormx.info, copper oxide wire particle boluses.